Wish your Shopify product pages included a place to enter information like size, brand name, materials, and more? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. No coding, no need to hire a developer. This is going to save you so much time and money. Before we get into the video, if you like videos about winning products, drop shipping, Shopify themes, apps, and tutorials, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Now let's get into the video. When Shopify launched Online Store 2.0, one of the updates were meta fields. Meta fields will allow someone who has a clothing store, for example, to include what type of material the product is made of. Or if you sell any type of food, you could include an ingredients list. For someone who sells tech, you could include the brand name. The possibilities are literally endless because you can completely customize these for your specific store and needs. In order for this to work, you do need to be using a 2.0 theme. I'm using Shopify's free theme, Dawn. First, go to Settings. Then go to Meta Fields. Now click on Products. And then Add Definition. Now what I want you to do is click Select Content Type. Shopify has already created a few pre-made options for you. We have color, number, measurement, rating, etc. Let's start with measurement. You can see you can go by weight, volume, or dimension. I'm going to go with dimension because I want to display my product's height, width, and length. Now enter a name. I'm going to call this one height. And then click save. Now I'm going to create another one the exact same way. So select content type measurement, dimension, and I'm going to call this one width, and save. I've repeated the same process for length, and now I have all three. Now if we go to products and select one of our products, we can see at the bottom here that we now have this size information that we can fill in for each of our products. So let's go ahead and fill it in. Now if you were to view this product, you will see that the information doesn't appear yet. We are going to get to that, but first let's go back because I want to show you how to create your own custom meta fields first. For this example, say we want to include the material list for our products. Click select content type, text, and let's go multi-line so that we have lots of room to type out the materials. For the name, I'm going to type in materials. And click save. Now let's go to our products and click on our product. Scroll down to the bottom and there we go. So let's go ahead and enter a list of our materials. Okay now that we are finished with our meta fields now we need to make it show up in our theme. To do this go to online store and then click customize on your 2.0 theme. At the top, you will see a drop down menu. Click to reveal the options. Then click products, default product. This is going to allow us to edit the product page template for all of our products. Under the product information tab, click add block, then click text. Now click this icon here insert dynamic source and then select length and click insert. Now highlight the text that says text block, delete that text and instead type your own title. After length I'm going to add a space and type X and then I'm going to add another space and then click insert dynamic source. I'm going to click width and I'm going to click insert. Now add another space and an X and another space and then we're going to add in our height. If you want to change the style of the text you can click this drop down and choose whatever you like. I'm going to stick with the body text so that it matches my product description. That looks good. Now I want to add in my materials list. You'll notice that if I use the text block, the meta fields that I created for my materials is not here. That is because we need to use a different block. 
For this one, we need to click on Collapsible Tab. For the heading, I'm going to delete this text and type Materials. And for Tab Content, click this icon and select Materials. By the way, you can also personalize it by choosing your own icons. Now one last thing I want to include before we move on is if you've used the text block and the collapsible tab block and the meta field you created is not showing up for either of these, there is a workaround and this will work for any and all meta fields. What you need to do is click add block and click custom liquid. Now keep this tab open and then open a new one and go to where we originally created our meta fields. Notice that each of these meta fields reads product.metafields.my underscore fields dot the title you entered. So open a notepad on your computer and type out the text for the meta field that you want to add. Then go back to your other tab and in that custom liquid box, type two brackets facing this way and two brackets facing this way. And then in the middle, paste the text that you just wrote down in your notepad. If you want to include a title, you can do that by typing text before your code. Hopefully you won't need to use it, but I want to include this just in case. The last thing I'm going to do is move both of these up so that it shows before the share button. And then whenever you're happy with how it looks, click save. Now when we look at our products, we can see that all of our meta fields are included. If you need help choosing which meta field to use to accomplish what you need, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to help. If this video helped you, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this.